So as you would know if you've watched my previous video, I'm in Western Bali searching for wildlife and while I was over here I managed to find so many different amazing species from monkeys to pangolins and vine snakes to cobras. So sit back, relax and enjoy some of Bali's finest wildlife. Okay so we're in Western Bali and we've actually come here to look for some king cobras but We've just been walking up the beach and we spotted this huge bat cave and there must be hundreds of thousands of bats just living in here. So we're just going to take a quick look around and see what we can find. Having that great experience, later that day we went out in search for king cobras and after hours of searching we spotted one well over two meters long. He's right here! here. <laughs> That cobra was actually classified as small, but the next day we relocated this big fella from someone's backyard, and just before releasing it, my guide let me have an amazing one-on-one -on -one experience. Here's what happened. Okay, so these snakes, they actually have enough venom to kill a fully grown elephant, and you can think how big an elephant is compared to the size of the snakes, because they have massive venom glands. Just behind their eyes, there's actually two bulges, and you can probably see that's how much venom they have. They have more venom than any Australian snake. They, they just have heaps of it. Which is probably why you don't want to do what I'm doing here. Slowly, yeah. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, And after that amazing encounter, we went on a night hunt to try to find some of Bali's nocturnal reptiles, as 95% of them come out after dark, and this is what we found. Okay, so we just spotted our first snake right here. Oh. This time, is it? This is worthless. Oh, settle, mate. That's better. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> He's already bitten me. Yeah, yeah this is a bronze back. They're probably the jumpiest snake out here. Yeah, they're a beautiful snake. They're probably, we've seen heaps of them out here. And they do give you a bit of a bite if you zoom in on my hand here. 
you can just see that, but I reckon just let him go. Yeah. In the tree or something. I'm just up here. Here. Okay, so we're getting used to barley because we've just spotted our I've just spotted my first slug snake. Just in here. I'll show you. Just like the other one that we saw you catch just before. Aren't they just so adorable? Okay, we're just gonna, he's probably out here hunting, so we'll just put him back. Just like that. It's so cool. You can see it's a vine snake. You can see all of its beautiful colors. It's just like the green tree snake that we have back in Australia. Look at that. He's opening up his mouth. I'll just give him support under here. Oh, he's striking as well. At the end part oh, of the... Oh, he found a viper. Okay, yeah. so we're just going to let... Give this guy the release. <laughs> just into this bush here. You see how well he blends in? Just like that. You can barely pick him out. That's why they're just like... They can get that big. Okay, so this is the white lip tree viper. We've just found it in the bush over there. Just down there. And you can just see he's just per perched himself up in this tree here. They're a highly venomous species of snake and, well, they look like the snake that we caught before, the um, vine snake. They're the same colour but their head is, like, very different. This one has more of a triangular-shaped head. Yeah, that's... yeah. Yep, got the tail. Cool. Okay, so we'll just release him now. Just down back where we found him. It's arboreal snake, tail off and stay on the tree. Mm. And nocturnal, active at night. Yeah. Yep. So cool. Bye bye. There's so many snakes here. Okay, so this is the reticulated python, and well, they're constricted, so what they'll do is they'll strike out. You can see this little tongue that's flicking here. That's how he senses his prey, and then he'll strike out, coil around it like any old python and squeeze all of the oxygen out of their body and then they'll swallow it whole. And uh, well these ones, this is only a, a juvenile, a baby, but they can grow up to five meters long here in Bali. And they've got these beautiful patterns. So if you're getting close here, you'll be able to see them. And when, when you shine the torch on them, there's actually a bit of a glimmer and you can see all this blue coloring. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna release this little one. Just down here. Yeah. Get him in. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You see that? He's just opening his mouth up. Okay, so this is a much bigger reticulated python than the one we saw before. And well, they kill their prey, like exactly what he's doing now. He's just squeezing really tight. You can just see it. He's wrapped around my whole body. Okay, so we're just going to release this big one and move my hand away quickly. <laughs> there. Now, part of my trip to Bali was to work with the Bali Reptile Rescue, who do incredible work to both relocate and save wildlife throughout Asia. And here's a few animals that they saved while I was here. Recently, 50,000 of them were smuggled into China. I would definitely recommend if you ever come to Bali to visit the Bali Reptile Rescue because I've been with Pete for two days and it's been an amazing experience. We've seen so many different species of animals and I tell you, I'm going to be coming back here. So thank you so much, Pete. No worries. Always well.
Be sure to check out my Facebook and Instagram account. Links are in the description.